Hey, what's up again? Juan and Emilian. I'm back with another video. I'm going to be talking about the new installation I've done to my Ram 1500 2014, which is the third brake light cargo camera fully installed. Give you a little bit of background about my third brake light. So I actually bought uh, the OEM camera last year off of eBay. I bought it for about $200. And as you may know, if your truck is not compatible with the cargo camera, there is no connection that goes from the, car from the third brake light all the way to the Uconnect radio. So you're not gonna have the option there. Let me jump on my tailgate to show y'all guys real quick. Oh, there we go. So there we go. There's the third brake light. There's the camera. Right there centered in the middle. Between all the lights. Let me give you the top view. Alright, for you guys who don't have the OEM third brake light with the cargo camera installed. You need to purchase one of these. And if you want to do it through infotainment, they actually have everything you need, including this third brake light within the package there. But pretty much you have to replace your ERT if you have the, the red factory brake light, you're gonna have to replace that one. And it's just two simple screws here. You take them out and you replace them. All right, so we're on the inside. So the lights are connected on this side and the wiring for the car camera is connected on this side. So once I connected the actual uh, connection to the cargo camera, which is all supplied by infotainment, infotainment and it comes with everything. Then there's a black wiring that goes all the way here. I have it going through all the way here. Going down to here like, and if I lift this right here, you can see the wiring there this is all for the ca cargo camera so it goes I have it going all the way down all the way down here through here and these passages prop up here so you could just keep going so I actually have it going down this way I have to keep it keeping going down this way and you could see it right there too so I'll, let me just check that in because I don't like the weight I don't like it to be sticking out to have it going down here, get out the truck a little bit. I have it running down through here. Keep going, like I said, I have this one going all the way over here to my radio, and I just I just tucked it in right there, which is super simple. You really don't have to break anything apart. So it goes through here, here, and it actually ends up through here. So see. Here, let me take this out. It's not supposed to go over there. I have the wiring tucked through here underneath my carpet mats. And it's going all the way underneath to my radio. See the wiring right there? Basically, I have the wiring going through my center console. It's going to be two switches. It's going to be one yellow port and one black port. So infotainment. They offer, uh, they provide you if you buy the package, uh, two different sets. One connects to the cigarette lighter, and the other one connects to a blue cord, which they provide an additional harness that um, that connects to the OEM one that's provided by the Uconnect if you have the 8.4 screen. So you connect this one to the, o to the OEM one, and then the new one connects to the radio. This is tape it's basically a, a bypass for the cargo camera installation. So once you have everything all hooked up and everything, then the final step is to actually program it, which they give a program to connect underneath the steering wheel. And once you do that, it's fully programmed. You wait about 30 seconds. You turn, you turn your truck off. You wait about 30 seconds. And then once you're finished, you turn your truck back on again. And you wait for the screen to load up. So for those like me, I have 
1500 I did not have a cargo camera I don't think any 1500s come with cargo camera from 2009 to 2018 but I could be wrong but my truck in particular didn't come with one so once I press control button let me just get a better view here the cargo camera appears which is pretty cool because now while I'm driving I can select the, the cargo camera selection as you can see right there there's a little there's a little um, it's a little foggy there it was it was raining yesterday and I needed I need to clean my 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 camera up there but pretty much I can switch between the backup camera and the cargo camera while I'm driving which is pretty neat because I can do that while I'm driving but the only the only downside I say is that it only lasts for 10 seconds so once those 10 seconds are over then it'll just pop back up to this screen right here now just to keep it real with everybody this installation did not come with it without any problems the first problem I encountered is I couldn't get the damn cargo camera to work so apparently there's a loose connection somewhere I don't know but let's say uh, I didn't figure it out till maybe like five or six hours in what the problem was and just to let you know give you a backside I did not do it six hours straight I did three hours one night two hours the following day and then one hour the following day just to correct the correction to, to fix the mistakes that I did the previous day but pretty much the loose if you're doing this installation and you're getting the infotainment make sure that all the wine are connected and they're secured tightly my my error is that I didn't have the connection from my cargo camera to the black harness that connects all the way to my Uconnect here secured tightly and that's why I kept getting a blue screen on my Uconnect screen there's one thing that I broke and cannot fix right now which it's not a major problem but it's something that it kind of irritates me every time but it's this I don't know if you notice it it's the 911 call up here we see the red uh, the red uh, light right there means that it's out of order but basically it's the 911 call I guess we can call if we're ever in an emergency and the what happened I know what the problem is when I was disconnecting the Uconnect screen from the back the plug-in from the 911 is a loose wiring that goes straight up and that I, that loose wiring was bent so I tried to bent it back up so I could connect the, the connection from up here to down there but once I kept trying it and I tried bending it back straight it actually click, clip off tore off and <laughs> fortunately I'm not able to connect it again so that that kind of sucks so I'm gonna be driving I'm gonna show you an example of my cargo camera so let's get it started Wow. 
reached the end of my video i appreciate y'all watching make sure you comment below if you have any questions if you want to follow me on my instagram there you go it's also gonna be i'm also gonna put in the description the name of it and also my other social medias in order to stay in the loop with all the modifications i do i, mo I mainly do all my modifications on instagram i do a post and i tell everyone what i did but i'm gonna try my best to do it on youtube as well i have big things planned for my truck i mean i already done a lot to it but just subtle things i want to do um, mainly wanted to, to do a lift. I'm stuck between doing a Max Track 7 inch lift or a CST 5.5. Of course, it's gonna be bigger tires. I'm gonna remove this here, running boards, and then put the amp research one that goes down with the light. And I'm gonna put the light bar in the front. See y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.